Okay, this is Fox back again for sound design tutorials. This is the sixth and final part of the deconstruction of my 150 BPM track using only Synth Master. Today it's going to be the bass, the main bass. I've got it soloed with the kick so you can hear how they interact together. So this is the sound we're going to be doing. Easy peasy, nice straightforward simple trance bass, so there's nothing to it, so this will probably be quite quick. So I'm going to initialise this preset. Oscillator 1, I change to a square wave, commonly used for basses. Trance genre is no different. The phase I had set at plus 34 degrees. Detune, pan, stereo, everything else was uh, how it comes as standard. Voices was 1. Oscillator 2, I need to check that to 3 actually, check that 3 button, Oscillator 2, I kept as a sawtooth, detune all the way down to 0, everything else how it comes as standard, set the tone, I pulled this down, about plus 51, also the volume of this back to about plus 80, so the square was the main body of the sound. That's pretty much it. All I did now was a simple filter envelope. I didn't use any effects anywhere. No, none of the insert effects. No effects in the master section. Turn oscillator 2 on actually so we can hear that sawtooth. Okay, we're going to turn the filter on. We're going to change it to a digital filter. I like the digital filters a lot more than the analog ones because you've got a choice over the slope here. We had it on the 24 decibels per octave slope, which is quite severe. Cut off starting point, I had it about plus 75. We're going to set an envelope to do that in effect to quickly close the. Uh, filter up over the time specified by the attack which we're going to use envelope 2. You right click on the cutoff, modulation 1 source voice ADSR envelope 2 which assigns to this here ADSR envelope 2. We're going to dial the amount that we want this to pull back we're going to do it not all the way back just before a quarter about minus 67 can't hear anything at the minute, that's because the attack time is so fast, it's pulling it all the way back before you've got a chance to hear any of the sound, so we need to back the attack off. I normally do this to here. That's it, really straightforward, just need to sort out the main envelope, we're just going to back the attack off slightly on the main envelope, give it a bit of curve so we don't get any clicks at the start of the notes. Okay, the attack time gives it more pluck or less pluck. There you have it, easy peasy. Took me about two minutes within the track to make that. <clears throat> Most trance bases are really simple. It's all about that pluck on the filter. Closing the filter up really quickly, it gives it that sort of pumping feel. Um, I've got some outboard effects on this. Well, within Ableton, I've got some overdrive. I'll turn these off so you can hear what they do. Overdrive on the lows is uh, something I always mainly do on a trance bass. I've got it honed in at 261 hertz, so it's slightly above the main bass, but this part was occupying, if you can see the EQ, 100 hertz to 1000 hertz. I've got a sub bass doing the rest, so the heart of this is 
pretty much 200 you can see where it's peaking so I've got the overdrive aimed at the heart of this 261 Hertz drive at 24% tone is like aim this is almost like an EQ as well in effect the lower you have it the deeper it's gonna be dynamics at 20 dry wet 24 so without and with Okay, saturator as well. I've got this aimed even lower. The frequency I've got it aimed at is 188 hertz, which pretty much was exactly where this was peaking. That being 100, the next one being 200, about 170, 180, I worked it out at. So this, along with the overdrive, helps give the sound a lot more depth. Quite heavy on the drive for this. I changed it from analog clip to soft sign to give it even a bit more oomph. Didn't really do anything else boosted the depth slightly and the bass up to 2.29 dry wet 85% so without the saturator and with helps it give a lot more grit in the I say at the heart of the, the umph. Um, the reason I've EQ'd this bottom out is, as I said earlier, the sub was taking up this part. I'll put it in so you can hear it. It is quite muddy. With the sub as well. Sub's real basic, it's not even worth me going over this. It's just a, uh, a sign and a square filtered all the way down. The cutoff is set at 31 hertz. So the sub is dealing with everything lower than what I've got this at. So yeah, that's it. Play it again quick. There you have it, simple trance bass line using Synthmaster. Um, as always, check out my Facebook and Google Plus page if you like this for updates on new videos that are coming. And uh, I post all my videos from YouTube onto Facebook and Google Plus, as well as Twitter, so you know that they're up on YouTube. Uh, as I say, Facebook and Google Plus is Sound Design Tutorials. Best way to get hold of me if you've got any questions or requests is tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.